Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. and welcome to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, the black sheep of the Dark Souls franchise and a game that, well, there's usually two kinds of people when it comes to this game. Those who absolutely love it 
and those who outright hate it. Me personally, eh, it's an okay game. Certainly not my favorite Soulsborne game. Uh, cough, cough, Bloodborne, cough, cough. This is definitely not my favorite Dark Souls game because Dark Souls 1 will always be my baby. But Dark Souls 2 is okay. I think it gets a lot more hate than it deserves. And I think I should mention, yes, there are two versions of this game. There's the original Dark Souls 2 and of course there's Scholar of the First Sin, which is the one we're playing. The difference between the two is Scholar of the First Sin adds in a new end game boss. Changes up some of the enemy layout and adds in a better RNG system. Which, of course, is going to be a 100% boss run. And now that I think about it, the crown of the Ivory King is going to be a bitch. Uh, but let's hop in here. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> What is your name? Alright, as always, Dr. Plague. And yes, I am playing this on the Xbox. I tried playing it on PC, but I couldn't get the controller to work. Trying to play Dark Souls 2 with a mouse and keyboard is like trying to play Dark Souls 1 with the, bo the DK bongo drums. Yeah, it's possible, but... By the way, shout out to Superloose 64 for actually pulling that off. I'm good at Dark Souls games, but I'm not that good. <laughs> at least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. So we got our first human effigy. Human effigies are very important in this game because they act like this. They're essentially this game's version of the humanity from Dark Souls 1. You need them to rekindle bonfires and of course restore your humanity. Which humanity plays a very big importance in Dark Souls 2. Because the more you die, the less health you start out with. You start to like slowly lose health like the health bar starts going down but for this uh i'm not picking the knight so we're going to go with swordsman i'm never using sorcery builds because i don't like sorcery builds and i guess the life ring there we go all people come here for the same reason to break the curse you're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> the 
go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going home. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. You know, I don't have to stand here and take a bunch of shite from a couple of washed up old fire keepers. Just saying. Uh, let's head up here because there should be a humanity in this chest. Or a human effigy. Sorry. And let's continue on our way. Now, in this game, the main character we play as is, of course, the bearer of the curse. In Dark Souls 1, it was the chosen undead. I think in Dark Souls 3, the main character in that game is called the Ashen One, I believe. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to light a bunch of these torches here. Because if you light them all, a invader should pop up. And we want to kill the invaders because whenever we kill an invader, we get a human effigy out of it. And sometimes we get some really good gear out of them, too. And this essentially op operates as the tutorial area. I like how he swings the scimitar, though. Very nice. And of course, we got the dope backstab. I love it. Oh, we got a troll down. Naked woman. Okay. And we got a troll down there. I do not like fighting trolls. But we also got the gender bender coffin down there. I don't know what it is. It, Whenever you hop into the coffin, it actually swaps your gender for some reason. I mean, the game was clearly ahead of its time, I guess. Let's go ahead and light that torch. Grab this. We got a dagger. Oh, you're gonna point blank me with that? Nah, get out of here. Hmm. Scimitar is actually useful. Holy shite. Oh, yeah. Mary, you. And we got a life gem. Life gems act as like a, an alternative to healing. Like if you run out of Estus Flask, just pop a life gem. I mean, you'll regain health slowly with life gems, but if you just constantly pop them, you'll regain life, well, health real quick. Oh! Please talk. <laughs> It's the smooth and silky birds. Now you can actually get some stuff from these guys if you actually give them like certain items. They also make a appearance in Dark Souls 3. Which you need to give them certain items in order to get Solaire's armor in Dark Souls 3. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Alright, let's head down this way. Light torches down here and get some extra souls as well. Because we're going to need a lot of souls. Amber Herb. Let 
Great, I didn't know Amber Heard was in this game. Yeah, I just throw it in the water. Send it down to Davy Jones' locker. And plunge it. Wow, I screwed that up. Oh, well. Hey, we got a crash red out orb. You need those if you want to do invasions. Well, speaking of invaders, I really hope I don't get invaded. Because I don't feel like dealing with invaders. Well, aside from the NPC ones, but like actual real life people. Nah, I don't want to deal with them. Oh, why are you things here? And what was up with that one's frame rate? So we can't access that room yet because there's going to be a petrified guy blocking the way. I think we need a branch of yore to unpetrify him. Like I said, we'll come back to this location later on. Yeah, this is the guy I'm talking about. You can't get by him until you unpetrify him. I'm just going to light, light this last torch. And continue on our way. The fuck happened in here? What the hell? Just a mass suicide. <laughs> Try her, then be wary of Tom. God damn it, Dark Souls. Oh, some things never change. I swear. And welcome to Majula. Essentially, this game's hub area, and we're gonna run around, and grab a couple things here and there. So let's head down here. I think there's an item. Yep. Divine Blessing, another, I believe a Divine Blessing is another healing item. Hop down here, hop down here. Got a Morning Star and a Clerk Sacred Chime. Man, binoculars. Now the first thing I want to do here at Majula is I want to talk to that chick standing right there. our Estus flask. Go on and see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. We may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Alright. Okay, there's one thing I want to check real quick. We're going to head up here to this giant massive monolith here. Hang on, let me talk to this guy. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Dren Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, 
I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. You want to bet? All right, the main reason why I came up here is because of this. If my guy would angle it. That massive number right there is the number of deaths on the Xbox version of the Dark Souls 2. I really like this feature. This shows how many times people have died in this game. And I think it's a different number on PlayStation and PC. But that's just an insane amount. But let's head down here. I'm gonna talk to the blacksmith later. Just another thing about it, hang on. Really don't like the hood. There we go. I think that looks way better. I prefer my face covered. Then we're gonna run over here, grab this. Another life gem. Nice. And if we knock this down, there's an SS flash shard. Glad to see the pigs are still here though. And this massive gaping hole in the center of town, which is not up to OSHA standards. OSHA does not approve. Well, let's see if I rest at the bonfire, it'll change her Position no. Seek those whose name their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Alright, whatever. Off we trot. Uh, there should be a chest right here on the right. Rusted coin. There's really a point to the rusted coins in this game. What did I even do? I'll temporary. Eh. I mean, I guess if you're looking to farm a specific armor set, maybe. Maybe they'll be useful. Okay, what we want to do is we want to fall down here and get this chest. Because the thing about this while well, these logs here is they're usually a two-way. If you walk up it, well, if you walk down it and then walk back up it, it should shatter and plunge you to your death. But if you just fall down off the bridge and then walk up it, you'll be good. And we're gonna go ahead and fall down here. One more bone and soul of a lost and dead. I wanna hurry up and get out of the river. Welcome to the forest of fallen giants. And if you're in that river, that freaking troll will actually aggro onto you. Just something I do not want. Oh. And run up here and activate this bonfire. Don't really need to use it. Ouch. Dude shot me like right in the shoulder. Short bow. Oh, 
life gym, a throwing knife. I don't care that much about throwing knives unless they're poison throwing knives. And oh my god, I just got reminded of that freaking poison dragon. Oh, that's going to be a fun fight. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> Guess they were more than just friends. Yeah, I want to hurry up and run over here. We'll first deal with this guy walking. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe I should heal before I die. Pop a couple of these, uh, couple of these life gems. Oh, yeah, dickhead. Come down here. Try to kick me off the ladder. Nah. The reason why I'm up here is to deal with this guy, because if you don't deal with him, he's going to be chucking bombs at you. Oh, hey, we got his armor. Jump across here, pick this up. Short sword and soul of the lost undead. Which can be useful. I mean, it's just like extra souls. What you really want is the souls of the heroes. All right, now let's go ahead and pick everything up down here and deal with all these hollows. Damn, I'm stocking up on life gems. Got another human effigy, nice. Broken straight sword, that's entirely worthless. Another broken straight sword. Let me guess. Oh, okay, it's a green ball. I was gonna say, if it's another broken straight sword, I'm gonna be pissed. Don't run up that way, because that's a beginner's trap. Instead, head over here. And try not to hit the wall. And come through here because there's gonna be like three guys in there waiting to jump you if you run up that other way. It's already at risk. Fine, I'll use the other sword. I mean it's a good sword, but apparently it breaks easily. What's the damage that I'll put on it? 121. That's much better than the straight sword. You know what? I'm going to save it for the boss. There we go. We need to rest up at a bonfire because that should repair all of my equipment. Oh, come here, you. Calm down, dude. There we go. 
Next up, deal with the guy chucking bombs at me. Should be another guy up top shooting arrows. Oh, no. Nah. Get back here. You ain't running. Buckler. Not that good of a shield unless you're like going for a parry build. Or if you really just want to work on your parries, the buckler is actually really good at parrying. Oh, you're going to rush me like that, bro. Oh, firebomb. Nice. And a witch urn. rest here and let's talk to first off what the fuck is up with your nails second off how do you even get around with that thing on your back? Just curious. But we want to talk to her because she has the key to unlock the blacksmith's work area. Or the blacksmith shop, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, blacksmith shop in Majula. Hello? Cheerier Foil 210. Oh, that's an actual player. Huh. Well, I, guess, I guess it makes sense. The uh, soapstone is just right up here. Locked, you say? Not really. Just bash the door down. You should open it. There should be a crystal. Yeah, there is. Crystal Lizard. Nice night shard, nice. Hollow soldier helm. I'm not gonna put it on because I like the way I look right now. Yep, small white sign soapstone and a radiant life gem. You need that in order to actually get summoned to other worlds to fight bosses and other things. Alright, let's... Actually... One thing about Dark Souls 2 is you can actually fast travel early on in the game. So let's head back to Majula and see if the uh, emerald chick is waiting by the bonfire. Yep, yeah, there she is. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. There goes a Havel monster. Now we can level up. Okay, first things I want to do is... Why does Vitality upgrade equipment look... What? Wait. Then what's the point of bigger? I mean, I guess it boosts your... Petrify resistance, but there's hardly any enemies in this game that uses petrification. Aside from those like weird lizard things with the humongous eyes. Really no point in that. 
Whatever. Let's go ahead and get strength. I like how she just waves her hand. Go ahead and give her the Estus shard. And we would boost our Estus. All right, let's head on back. I don't know, I kind of don't like the fact that you get fast travel this early in the game. I mean, the fast travel sequence is actually much better than Dark Souls 1's, but... The thing that made it better in Dark Souls 1 is the fact that you had to earn fast travel. Like, you had to be Ornstein and Smo in order to actually fast travel and get the Lord Vessel. This game, nah, it just gives it to you right off the bat, and I just don't like it. It's like less rewarding in a way. Soul of the Lost Undead. Shade ahead and then be wary of skeleton. So you can't actually open this door, at least not yet. What you need to do is you need to light the torch and it should give you the location you need to... Well, it should tell you what to do in order to open the door. Which, there's a lot of things in Dark Souls 2 that are like that. You, torches are kind of like a requirement in this game. In fact, I think this game does more with torches than any other. Now that I think about it. Let's head on up here. Ooh, a turtle knight. Oh, I messed that up. Try lure him over here and bait him into one that swing. Yep. There we go. Blow the fuck out of him. Actually, pause. That came out wrong. Okay. What I want to do with this is I'm going to go to my equipment. Take out that firebomb. Hopefully, I position this right. We want to toss it over there. There we go. And that opens up the secret passage to the bonfire. What's up, my guy? What's up? I do not like fighting the uh, shield guys in this game. Well, it has more to do with me dual wielding. Try, like, you need a shield or you need to somehow get around them in order to kill them. It can be very annoying. Got a guy up there with bombs. If I could get him to chuck one. Oh, there's two of them up there. Right here, stupid. I'm trying to have him blow up these guys so I don't have to deal with them. Stop it. All of soldier armor.
Oh, great. There's two of you. Over here, dickhead. And walk through here. And open up the secret passage. Fire arrow. Hmm. Got another, well, another turtle knight right there. He's walking away for some reason. Where are you going? Oh no, he's coming for me. Yeah, these guys could be real easy to deal with if you know what you're doing. There we go. Didn't drop his armor though. Bad. Watch out behind you because you're going to get jumped if you go for that. Yep, here they come. Oh, don't knock me off. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, you bitch. I knew I was going to get knocked off. All right. Dealt with both of them. Try not to aggro the turtle knight. Grab my souls. Come on down, you dickheads. Yeah, not so fun getting knocked off, is it? There we go. Now let's grab this item. Got the hell burton, the soul of a nameless soldier. And we got another item up here. Life gem, hold more bone. All right, let's go deal with the first boss. And after that, we can move on to the second boss. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, here we have the Lash Giant, which is kind of a pushover, honestly. By the way, his name is completely redundant because there's actually two more giants. I think they're dead. 
down in the, uh, I want to say it's called the gutter. I forget the name of the area. I should probably heal up. There's no way in hell I'm dying to the last giant. And when you get him down to half health, he rips off his own arm. And he kind of uses it as a club. Oh, no. And he got me that time. Oh, just went for a swing. Missed. Oh, no. Oh, you bitch. I am pissed. All right, let's try that again. I don't want to repeat of the Belfry Gargoyles, asshole. This time I got the Scimitar, which is actually doing some work on him. Time die, dude. Soul of the last giant and the soldier key. And since we're already down here, well, what the fuck? Okay. Definitely fuck that dude up. Yeah, since we're down here, let's go ahead and make our way to the second boss. Because I would really like to have my Dring Lake ar Knight armor and not get killed by a bunch of spear dickheads. need to go away. Fine, you want to die so bad? I'm going to break that effing guard. Last one. What? How'd you block my swing? You're like mid smack me in the face with that shield. How? Get the fuck out of here, dude. That you blocked my sword swing with that Zwylanda. Impressive, I'll give it to you. Ah, oh, great. It's that risky. Yeah, this thing's durability sucks. Oh, I can't use that effectively. Fine, we'll go back to the short sword. We just gotta deal with the archer up here. Oh, 
who decided to ram me. All right, let me go ahead and pop up, pop a life, Jim. And let's fight the pursuer. Honestly, he's such a cool looking boss. But you gotta bait him into that swing. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. We'll run over here, hit this. Nope, I missed it. I was trying to get him with the freaking ballista. Okay, let's try this again. I really want to hit him with that ballista because it's so satisfying when you manage to pull it off. I need you to do the triple swing. Okay, not that. Get away from the ballistas. I don't want you destroying them, dude. Yeah, that swing. I want you to do that. How did you hit me? How? Yeah, I think the best bet would be to lock off of him. Well, unless he does that charge. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please get him. Oh, we got him. Hey, get him again. There we go. <laughs> yes, that's what I was wanting to do. And we got the ring of blades and a bunch of Germanic Gothic knights running at me. Yeah, let's not go that way. Instead, we're going to go down here because I want to get my armor. Drang like a male. Very good armor. And we got a pissed off turtle knight there. Alright, let's head on. What was that derpy ass run? Get out of here. What is up with their arm, dude? What happened? Look at his arm. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no, no, thank you. Oh, yeah, I should probably equip the rings. Increases physical attack. That's actually useful. All right, let's head back to Majula. So now I got a bunch of souls. And some really good early game armor. Yeah, we're going to be wearing this for the time being until I get some better armor. Yeah, I guess that helmet fits. Imagine we need to increase our equipment load. So, what was that by time? Seriously, then what? If what's the point of bigger then? Increase our endurance a bit. Go with strength. There we go. From thirteen to thirty-three. Now we roll just fine. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I think like next up, 
yeah we need to go through there and get to the i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna deal with the the dragon guarding the old dragon slayer that's gonna be a problem or actually i need to go back down through there Yeah, we need to find a sorcerer to open up the mansion, like, right over there. I don't know. I'll figure it out in the next episode. But until then, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. As always, until next time, have a good day.